Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Rise of Radke. We're so glad that you're here at our 10.15 time, as opposed to our 8.15, which I have to tell you, this 10.15 time feels pretty awesome. Oh, really? I don't care for it at all. Why? Because you're so chipper when you wake up? Because I'm never late. I'm the reason why we're a couple minutes late, and it's because I've been doing all kind of stuff. And so I'm having to stop in the middle of my thing. So I like to, I like to get going right away. Okay, first of all, don't act like you've been up since 6 a.m. training for a marathon <laughs> and talking with a Pentagon. You're like, I've, I've been up and I've been doing all kinds of stuff. I literally saw you in your underwear like an hour ago. <laughs> but I was doing things. Well, that sounds weird. <laughs> you were in your underwear doing things, all right. <laughs> Oh my word! I like I like having it at ten fifteen. I mean, it is right in the middle of the morning if we try to do anything. But I say if we're trying to do anything before ten fifteen, is it worth doing? Mm. I don't feel like it is. Mama used to say, "There's nothing good that happens after midnight." Did and you? You're saying is? Did you just you say that? Did you just say Mama said? My mama. <laughs> you didn't say my mama. You just said Mama said. <laughs> Mama said nothing good happens after midnight. Your thought is nothing good happens nothing good happens before ten fifteen. I'll tell you this, and I'm not upset about it, and I don't want ever anybody to like y'all to all send me hearts and be concerned about me, but I don't have coffee this morning. That's not my fault. I asked and you said no. I didn't. I said not right now. That was two hours ago. Good grief. So you admit I've been up doing things for two <laughs> hours. Aha! Gotcha. I wish I had some coffee. Is it rude to ask you to leave? Yeah, it is. What kind of coffee is this? Is it black. bulletproof? No, it's I will not participate in bulletproof coffee. No, it's just black. Hey, uh, we're so glad to see everyone on this morning. Uh, remember, normally we go Monday through Friday, 8.15 Central Time, uh, because it's spring break. We're doing 10.15. Mm -hmm. And uh, so share with uh, all your followers, all your peeps right now, because they may not be aware. So Oklahoma is in the house. Um, who else is in the house? Arkansas, Texas. Lumberton, Texas. Washington. Um, you know, uh, Stephanie, I have family in Lumberton. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Uh, New York. Maryville, Washington. Uh, I don't think Lee is in Hawaii. He may be saying hi, but we're going to say Hawaii. Um, <laughs> He's just saying hi. Uh, Virginia. Finally catching you live. New Aaron, York. Aaron, you better be watching us on replay, even if you don't catch us live. Uh, this is obviously on Facebook. We also go to um, IGTV, Instagram TV, as well as YouTube. Shortly after this is done, we post there as well. Well, let me just tell you guys, good morning. We're so glad that you guys are oh, here. Oh, done. Kentucky, Alabama, Oklahoma. Okay, for those of you who Idaho, are... Who are Georgia, New Mexico. Uh, for those of you who are new here... Here's the reason why he cares so much. Um, if he calls out, if in one set, if in one morning live, all 50 states, is it 50? All 50 states show up at one morning live. I've told him I will make out with him live and mm -hmm. on the air. Our ratings will skyrocket. They'll skyrocket. I, we're getting close because we've got... You can't dare Florida, tell me. Florida, Arizona, Virginia, South Carolina, Anchorage, Alaska, when Hawaii and Alaska are in, and we know we're already counting the We don't Hawaii. have Hawaii. We have a man who wrote hi. He put H-I, and that is for Hawaii. <laughs> we ain't got time to investigate all this. We don't have uh, to. We know we've got, him. <laughs> we've got Tennessee, Louisiana, New York. Uh, you know, every single time I California, wear this shirt, every Iowa. single time somebody says, where did I get this shirt? And I love this shirt because it's roomy and it's comfortable, but what you can't see is it's very long, too. I like that. I got it at Chick's, Chick Soul, C-H-I-C-S-O-U-L, Chick Soul. On, it's just a boutique on Facebook. I, lo I love it. It's super comfortable. So far, I've ordered several things from them. I've never got anything I don't like. That's an aside. So anyway, if you are keeping up with the 50 states, let David know if they have all showed up. But I'll tell you what I haven't heard. I haven't heard Missouri. And I haven't heard New Mexico. There's nobody from New Mexico that likes us. There has been people from New Mexico. I have not seen anybody today from New Mexico. And what about that other little known state, Oregon? Mm, so mm. see, David, don't get your hopes up or anything else for that matter. Because you know what? 
I don't see it happening just yet. Right. You know, yesterday when we were logging off, somebody said, wait, 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 y'all didn't do your Monday movie review. We always do a Monday movie, movie review. My fingers. What the hell is it? my fingers here. What are you doing, man? My fingers are Okay, but don't brush anything down on my top lip. It looks rude. Anyway. Your stash was flipping up. You know what's about to flip up? You better hold my arm down. <laughs> I'm going to protect my ribs now. Yeah. Uh, we always do a Monday movie review because David and I go to a matinee movie every single Friday, like losers. Mm. Just want to point out Jenny from the Oregon coast. Good morning to you. How do we know that? How do we know that Judy Sinclair is from the Oregon coast and she's just not some perv that wants to see two middle-aged white people make out on here? That's what I think, Jenny. Anyway, we normally go to the movies on Friday and for the kids got early release this past Friday because it was spring break. Um, and so we didn't get to go to a movie because we could have taken on a movie and taken our kids, but one of our kids was bad, <coughs> really, and we didn't get to go to a movie. So I am dying to see the new Ben Affleck movie called The Way Back. I want to see that so bad. Um, if you've seen it, I want to know how it is. But also the other movie that we were thinking of going to is the new Disney movie called Onward. So I want to know how that is too. So y'all tell us. Have y'all gone to see a movie? Is Onward worth going to see? Um, and is, uh, how is the way back? I want to know. Okay? Um, see, we could take Rock. See, the problem with Brimmy's in Chicago this week doing some work um, with a, uh, what, what do you call the Dream Center? It's, it's literally called the Dream Center. Okay. She's doing some work with the Dream Center in Chicago, like a little mission trip for uh, the youth group. So we just have Rocco. And it's not, it's not been bad at all. Well, come to find out, he was actually at a friend's house all day yesterday, so that's why it went bad. Um, I'll tell y'all what happened to Rocco in just a second. We can't go to uh, Way Back, what was that? The Ben Affleck one? Why? We can't go with that with Rocco. Oh, no, we can't go with that with Rocco. We, can, we can drop him off at my parents' house. <laughs> um, um, the, that movie Onward is amazing. Is um, Rita Clark says, I wish my husband would be as loving as David. Okay, Rita. Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all. Bow, bow, bow. Rita Clark, let me listen. First of all, that's very sweet. I wish your husband was as loving as David too. David is a very loving person, but it ain't all it's cracked up to be, Rita. Um, okay, so what are y'all saying? Saw it, good movie, but the cussing is out of control. Well, pff, Judy, okay, you know what? Judy, has Judy, never stupid been on show, show, show. Ah, remember how I used to do it so Judy, fast, Judy, Judy so late. Judy, have you ever been on a basketball team? Judy, the have you language ever? Language is not. Nice. Have you ever been in the Radke House? Oh, of okay. Um, Onward was great, but super difficult for the kids. Oh, because it was about a spouse. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. That makes perfect sense. Okay. Call of the Wild was great. I love Call of the Wild. Um, I am so happy that David is in full blown Pantone David Radke Boom. blue. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, how do they know what David uses in the shower? We've gone too far. All right, I want to go see The Way Back. The cussing doesn't bother me. I'm immune to it. I live with him. <laughs> um, that, I'm kidding about that. Uh, I want to go see Onward, and I want to take Rocco to see that. Uh, but so Has anybody seen Impractical Jokers? We love the Impractical Jokers. The movie, it's not looked great, although we love them and we love the show. Has anybody seen that? I don't. I feel like that might be what we used to deem a renter. There's not really renters so much right. anymore. I mean, I guess there are, but. Um, you know. Hey, Rebecca Mount. I just want to say something to, to you really quickly. I noticed that you're commenting to Erica. So Erica just made a comment that she lost a spouse, and and she was talking about how it was, onward was difficult for her kids. I just would like to point out that you are responding to Erica on here, and that I am very very pro that. Like I just think that life is better together. And so if if you guys will take Rebecca as an example, and when you see somebody that they comment on something or that they're hurting about something or they lost something or they're happy about something or they just started a new job. Would you, like Rebecca, take a second and just like tell them congrats or tell them I'm thinking about you or tell them sorry for your loss. But like, I, I love lives 
because y'all can talk to us and we can refer back. But I really love lives when they set a, a like kind of community in motion. So that's a really cool thing that you're doing there. And I just want to applaud that and tell other people to do it as well. And if we're distracting you, just turn the volume down so you can't hear it. <laughs> and y'all just go about your conversation. Do like our kids do. Just tune us out. Tune us out. Um, okay, so here's what happened last night. You want to tell them what happened with Rocco? Fine, I'll tell them. Rocco went, no, uh, <laughs> I, I'll tell them because you'll add the I will not add. I will not add. You won't do enough. I feel like we need to meet in the middle a little bit about it. You start walking my way. You start walking. I, I hope, I'll start walking your I hope, way. I hope, I hope, you I hope start walking you. my way. We'll meet in the middle, middle near that old country line. line. We gain a lot of ground. We don't own that song. We don't, have we don't own that it. song. We love people. Look at us. Look at us doing it right there. Oh, that's look awkward. Ridiculous. Anyway, here's what happened with Rocco. <clears throat> the story is this. He was over at a friend's house. It had been raining and drizzling outside. They decided to go out to the concrete driveway and play basketball in their Crocs. Why? Because they're idiots. <laughs> They were doing this, and then they started tossing a football around to each other, and Rocco went to go grab the football. His shoe slipped, and he fell onto the concrete and hit his head pretty hard. Now, the problem comes in that Rocco, David and I have raised, what is the word we're looking for? Dramatic. Dramatic, or as I like to say, dramatic. Our kids are very dramatic, and, and I don't know where they get I'm it. I'm very confused at where that could come from. They're just kind of uh, like a little bit of dramatic. And he hit the ground. The problem is that because he tends to be a little bit dramatic sometimes and kind of a baby, occasionally, and we love him very much, but he is, he gets up and he runs in and he asks for some Tylenol and he's crying and he's saying that his head's hurt, but then... He can't remember how he hurt his head. He's saying, I can't remember. I don't remember falling. So the mom, who's one of my very best friends, brings him home and, and says, I, I'm bringing him to y'all. I, I don't think it's as bad as he's saying. But She was in the house. She wasn't outside. Yeah, she, she, didn't outside. she didn't see it. But she's like, but you know, our boys are kind of like dramatic and you know. And so we watch Rocco. Rocco just doesn't know, though, what the signs of a concussion are. He doesn't know. It's hard to fake a concussion when you don't even know what the signs of it are. But he's not making any sense. Did you think? Yeah, we asked him how old 11, he was. He's 11, and a lot of the stuff he says doesn't make he, sense. I know, but we asked him, how. we said, Rocco, how old are you? And he went, 10. And he said, I was born on September 2nd, 2008. And I go, so how old are you? And he goes, 11. Like, he wasn't making a lot of sense. Um, and then a, a, a couple, he had a really bad headache, and then an hour later, he he went to the bathroom, and he laid across the floor and just was holding his stomach and said, I'm so nauseous, I'm so nauseous, I wish I could throw up. So he did have nausea. Eventually, he had all the signs of a concussion, and we didn't take him in, because by this point, it was late. And before Can't, you go off with your, you could have taken him to an in and out clinic. I know that, but... Well, before you say, before you say, we didn't take him in, okay, we have... Access. Is it awkward that I'm just doing Stop. that? No, it's annoying. <laughs> um, we we have access to two doctors that we can text and call. We actually probably have access to more than that. But we reached out to both of them. We told them what was going on. The nausea went away very quickly. We did the eye test. His eyes weren't dilated, and they were responding the way they were supposed to. So two professionals said, just watch him. It, we think it's fine. Um they did. Like, so don't don't so like we didn't take him in. You know we 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 did. We, we reached to out see. to both of them. A family doctor that is very close with us and our family, and then another one that is our actual doctor. And both of them said, "Watch him. Don't let him watch TV. Don't let him do uh, Xbox or anything like that. Keep just keep him chill. Keep him chill. And give him a couple hours. You can let him go to sleep after that. We kept him up two hours. Then he went to sleep fine. Um, but if he starts throwing up, I want him in immediately. They both said the same thing. Um, he never threw up. This morning he woke up. He's completely fine. He's eating cereal. Everything's great. Good story. Well, David, I'm just saying. <laughs> I still think you should take him in. I told you. we. What if there's some him. kind of swelling on the brain? And he's very active in sports. And what if he gets hit? We can absolutely take him. Oh, yeah, you're doing it now in front of all the people and in front of all the states. But when we're off, you're like, you know what? I ain't going to go 
will sit in our emergency room and catch the corona. That is not what I said. That is exactly what you that said with your said. eyes. I, with my eyes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is not at all what I said. I said we could absolutely go uh, in, in uh, I, don't, I don't know, they do MRI or CT. I don't know what they do for that. But I don't know. I always think you should err on the side of caution. And he does. Uh, and basketball's over. Obviously, baseball's not as much contact. Except he plays catcher. So, if there's going to be contact, it will be with catcher. So. Well, okay. As you guys know, we try to bring all the news every day of what's going on in the world. There's not a lot of stuff going on. Every single thing that we watch and look at and refer to and look at, it's all about Corona. It's Corona, Biden, and Bernie. That's it. Corona, Biden, Bernie. Corona, Biden, Bernie. Well, no, there's a, 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 politics are always mixed in there, but I'm just saying. Biden. I know, but I'm just saying from all sides, all politics are mixed in there. Um, and right now, also, there's some things about the royals mixed in as well. Like, did you see her? Did you see Meghan Markle in that green dress? I mean, talk, talk about you, stopping traffic. You think that's the last time we'll see her in a hat? Because those hats are kind of silly. I don't know, but she looks fantastic. Anyway, but I do have a story for you guys. Listen to this. And yes, it is about Corona. Oh, okay. Go, go for it, David. Go for it. <laughs> Breaking news, everybody. Get this. Okay. I would say that a lot of us on here are, uh, maybe we're not parents, but we know kids or we're teachers or we got nieces and nephews, right? So, stop looking at this. I'm looking at them. I'm it makes me very mad that when you do that. I'm not, I promise I'm looking, I'm making sure I'm not missing My notes anything. are written down here. So, get this. A Missouri man left his personal quarantine his older teenage daughter had gone on a trip been on an amtrak train da 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 all the things and she'd gotten back from a trip and this is a teenage daughter and she began to show signs of corona she called the health organization ran all of her uh, symptoms by them and they said yes you need to personally quarantine you and your family for two weeks and like a champ she did it she hung out oh, what a kid right she calls in herself she personally quarantines her family well that father snuck out and took his youngest daughter with him and they went to a father-daughter dance a father-daughter dance that was two entire schools combined and not only that they went to a pre-dance shindig at somebody's house. Now, I don't know if he thought this was going to be one of those moments when all the entire world reads that story and goes, Oh, but he did it to go to a father-daughter dance. But we're not, Joe, or whatever your name is. We're not saying that. We would be saying that if he set up, like he like decorated a room in their house. Like a bubble? Like a bubble room? No, not a bubble room. But I'm saying like if he strung lights and stuff and he had the dance for his daughter in the house. That's that exactly right. Precious. That would have been good, Joe. That would have been good. But Joe, when you go, <coughs> come here, baby. Mm, that's not good. Now, I'm going to ask you. Do you really want to do the Macarena up next to Joe and his sniffling, sneezing 10 year old daughter? No, you don't. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <coughs> I am so sure that's what he did. And then took it to a shit. I'm going to tell you what. If I had bought party cups for that and I found out Joe and Hannah came over, I would be, fur I would be furious. Quarantine time is not shindig time. No, it is not shindig time. Tell them, David. Tell them when shindig time is. Shindig time is when you are clear of all possibilities of viral infections. You know what? Our numbers are dropping after this. All right. Um, anyway, I couldn't believe That's in Missouri. So all of you, yep, truth, about 40 minutes from me. Oh, my gosh. I'm from St. Louis, and people here are getting hot over this. A couple of schools had to close. Yes, those two schools had to close down, and they're like completely like. I, I, I don't under, I, I don't understand it. I mean, I don't think we should live in panic and fear, but Joe, use your noodle, dude. Every one of those families are now quarantined for 14 days. <sighs> uh, you know, there are going to be some parents that want to beat him down if he makes it out of quarantine. Mm -hmm. You locked me in my house for 14 days with my kids? <laughs> I'm going to kill you. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Um, okay, so that's really 
kind of our news for today. That's about it. I will close with telling you guys this. Um, today, all I have all I have left to do, all of my clothes are hung up nice and neat. They're on an Excel spreadsheet ready to be uploaded. We just got to take pictures of them. But if you um, are a plus size woman and you are looking for some cute things, um, we are going to have those up ready to go by this afternoon, you think? Uh, at least by tomorrow. We'll let you know tomorrow on, on Rise and Rescue, the link and all that kind of good But be, stuff. just stay close to my social media. If it goes up sooner than that, we'll be sure and post it. Um, but I want to uh, let you know that our, my new podcast came out. My new podcast. A new podcast episode for Ordinary People, Ordinary Things came out today with Denise Walsh, whom you will love. I loved her. We had a really great interview. She's a really cool chick, and she's really doing incredible things for women. Um, and so have a great day. If you're home with your kids, have a wonderful day. What is it, David? In our in our thriving to spring clean this week too, mm -hmm. we still have uh, we still have the twenty five percent off discount at Melissa's shop. So there's still, a lot of the t-shirts have gone, but there's still some t-shirts. There's great coffee mugs. There's the totes, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so go to melissaradkey.com uh, backslash shop and use uh, the code R and spell out and R R and R for twenty five percent off. Have a wonderful spring break day, okay? Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just enjoy your day. And just remember this. I don't know if you're this friend or not. Maybe you're the friend like me who wants to say this um, to everybody. Or maybe you're the friend that does this. But either way, listen to my quote for the day and then pay attention and act accordingly. Okay? And that is this. Nobody wants to hear about your diet. But don't. I don't want to hear about it. Okay, you're not the first person to have been on it. You're not the first person to have discovered it. Okay, you didn't you didn't bring it to America. This diet wasn't your creation in your kitchen. Nobody wants to hear about your diet. They just want you to eat your salad and be sad. That's what they want. So shut up talking about it. Shut up talking about your keto and your low carb and your noom and all those kind of things. And just eat your salad and be sad. Have a great spring break day. We love y'all and we will see you tomorrow. What are you laughing about? Oh, I can't touch your mucus membrane, David. Oh. Well, it's a great day. Don't stop. <laughs>